Hi, uh, this is Wachabi and today uh, we're doing a short review on this uh, Seiko Prospect Sky Slide Rule SRPB61K1 Navy Timer. Now, this is the first uh, slide rule watch I have in the collection. Uh, it's a Seiko, it uses the uh, 4R35B uh, automatic movement, display case back. Uh, hardlex crystal but a dome hardlex crystal as you can see here and you have a slide rule now bi-directional bezel that you can actually use to do some calculation uh, honestly I do not know the rules of how to use this I got to read it up uh, but I suspect um, it is a very uh, complicated uh, for someone in this day and age because uh, calculators have sort of you know spoiled this in terms of how to get um, how to do a calculation this one uses certain tricks uh, to do a lot of uh, complex calculation uh, by the way I will try to find out and how to do this um, comes with a very thick double layered uh, leather strap as you can see here white stitching black uh, which is a uh, creates a very nice uh, spotty look uh, to the whole uh, assembly uh, display case back push in push out crown um, the aperture uh, at three o'clock um, that's it very simple sign uh, buckle yeah, it's a very simple watch. Uh, uh, as far as the specifications concerned, I'll put it at the end of this video, and you can actually see it. But that's it. Not nothing uh, unique. Uh, quite wearable. Uh, let me put it on my wrist. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, here's the uh, watch on my wrist. I got a six and three quarter inch uh, circumference wrist. So it looks quite, quite. Uh, fine I think for this very size um, so you have the, the nice white stitching on the side okay anyway um, that's all for this short review um, if you do want to get one I think this is a very good one uh, by virtue of two things uh, the uniqueness of the bezel and the dome crystal which you seldom see in the Seiko uh, prospect series usually they are flat Okay, bye.